Hey everyone, uh, Steve here with Class A. I had someone ask me about setting some basic preferences. I'm going to show you the easiest thing to do. There's a bunch of ways you can do it, but uh, there's one thing that I like. It's the most surefire way, easiest thing to manage. Now, whenever you go new in NX and create a new file, you'll notice that it creates uses templates. These templates here are stored on your machine, and it's just a question of finding those templates. So you'll see I have model, drawing, simulation, and so on. So I have all of these default templates. So anytime I make a new file, these are going to reference. Now you'll notice in this window, it tells you actually quite a bit of informa uh, information, what units you're using. And when I select my units, here's my model, you'll notice that owner is the administrator. Well, I've made changes to the template file that I use. So it shows that. Anything else, it's going to show you the system authority, or the original template file as it's set up is going to be used. So um, I'm going to cancel, and I'm going to go to the folder where this is located. Now you'll notice you go into your uh, program file, Siemens, NX, UGII, templates. And in here, there's dozens of these template files. These are all of the start models that are uh, used by NX. And the one that I want to modify is the modeling plane dash one millimeter template. And uh, you'll notice there's one for inch. So for this, all I have to do is just open this up in NX. Now, be careful with this file because this file is going to drive everything uh, within your start, model, start part. So whenever you do a file new, that's what you're going to see. And once you have that open, you go file... Uh, preferences and then change the preferences here that you want. Um, for example, if I go to object, I have my uh, lines and objects set to different colors. So if I go to line for instance, my line color is set to green. If I uh, cancel this, I draw a line, you'll notice that it's green. I have my arcs set to purple you'll notice that it's purple. I have my splines set to this blue. Now, if I go into my preferences, object, my line, my arc, and my spline. So if I change something, let's say I want to change the uh, color of uh, my solid bodies. Right now, solid body color is this uh, funky uh, gray color, right? So if I want to, I can come in here and change that solid body color, and I'll just, in this case, just make it brown, for instance, all right? And I'm going to apply this. I'm going to select OK, and here I'm going to make an extrusion. So if I come in here, go to Extrude, Extrude that, you'll notice that it's a surface, so it's that blue color, but if I come in here and double-click on that, and if I give this an offset value, for instance, we'll say two-sided, select OK, you'll see it stayed blue. Well, the reason why it stayed blue is because that's the original color that was there. That's what I made it as. But now if I come in here and do the same thing, making a solid, select OK, there's my brown. So. Part of this, you have to be careful. As you see, the first one that I made, I made it as a surface and then changed it. Well, it adopted the colors of the surface. The second one started as a solid. Now, if I make a modification to this and I turn that off, select OK, you'll notice that that surface stays the color of that original solid. So there's a little bit of precedent here. Which one do you make first? Because I made this first as a surface and then change it, it kept those properties. Same thing with this. I made this as a solid first, and it came back to a surface. It kept those properties. So uh, there's a few things you have to be careful of when you're dealing with these properties. But once you have your template file set, let me go ahead and open it up again. Now it's in my listing here. Once you have all of your preferences set, I want to be careful, right? I don't want to save all that stuff in it. You have all of this stuff taken care of, like solid bodies return to default. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and change this and make it blue. Apply, OK. You have everything done. You've made all your changes. You save that. I'm going to close this out. 
Now when I make a new file, it's going to reference that template. So that way, when I do draw a curve, it's going to come in the color that I specified, which was that green. And then now I'm going to go ahead and make my extrusion. This guy, this is the color of a surface. Remember, this is an open profile, so the default is going to be a surface, but I'm going to give it an offset. It's a two-sided offset. And now that I have that, as soon as I hit my apply or OK, it turns it to that blue color for the solid that I specified. And that's honestly the easiest way to set up your preferences. Just open up that template file, make whatever changes you want, background color changes, however you want that to be set up, and go for it. If you are feeling a little bit more brave and you want to play around with the actual uh, um, customer defaults, you have a utilities file under customer defaults. This one you have to uh, save everything and log out and log back in to get them to write and uh, let me go customer defaults and this just basically controls uh, what you come into how you come into um, you'll see here you know you have your line default and so on so a lot of this stuff uh, is uh, controllable in the template file actually the template file takes precedence over this file so if you made a change to your template you don't have to worry about this so much some of the things in here you can go back in and change you know you got your modeling your tolerances and so on but uh, my preference is to just to worry about the template file and once the template's set it's gold you can go back and change it everything you do from that point on is always based off of that template easiest way to do it simplest way to do it and, um, and if you can play around with it you know somebody's going to come up with some ideas of their own let me know I'm always always happy to hear people's ideas so if you have some recommendations let us know uh, thanks for watching if you like the video please like uh, share with your friends subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below or send me a private message doesn't matter to me however you want to contact me thanks again